In our next set, you'll notice how three different tricks work together perfectly to create the impression of great skill with a pack of playing cards. You know, it, it's one thing for me to find the right card. It's another thing when other people find the right card. Now, here, do me a favor. I want to see if you can find one of the aces for me. Pull out one of the aces. Uh, and why don't you pull out one of the aces as well? And if you can pull out one of the aces, Gary, can you reach inside of there and pull out one of the aces for me? Let's see how you did. Let's see how you did. Well, that did pretty good. There's one. There's one. <laughs> There's one. Oh, no, you did better than you thought. Now, see, these are actually cards in disguise. See, the two of spades, and the six of diamonds, the three of clubs, and the four of diamonds, that's very common disguises for the aces. They often go in disguise. Now, here, I'll show you what I mean. They're acrobats at the same time. If I were to take the four of diamonds and balance those other three cards right on its back, just like that, in midair, they would change into the four aces leaping, disregarding their own safety, onto the floor, just like that. So it's very impressive, although I seem to be the only one that thinks so. No. <laughs> oh, that, uh, <laughs> now, when people see that sort of thing, they say to themselves, you know, boy, I'd hate to play cards with you. Now, gamblers do different types of things. Would you like to see how a gambler oh, yeah. would actually <laughs> teach that. you in a game of yeah. poker? Yeah. See, now, now, let's say, for example, we just played a round of poker, and we've gathered the cards up. Now, what... A gambler will do is in gathering the cards up, he'll gather it so that the aces fall together at the bottom. Okay? And then when he's dealing the next round, let's say there's five of us playing in this, when he's, he'll actually take the bottom card for himself, just like that. He does it pretty quick so that you don't notice it actually taking place. And generally, people aren't paying a lot of attention as he's going through like that, taking the four aces. See, there's it's the fourth ace. Just like that is how it would look. Now, let's see how the rest of the guys did in this particular hand. Let's see, there's a guy that's not going to stay and play very much. <laughs> Over here, well, there's a pair of, pair of jacks. That's pretty good. Let's see how this guy did. Pair of fours. He's good to play, I guess. And over here, let's see how this turned out. Possible straight. Okay, but over here, of course, is the four aces based yeah. on that cheating technique. <laughs> Okay, now let's do things a little differently. This time I want to put the aces down into the center of the deck, like this, and I want to cover them with these cards. Now I'll show you how it looks in real speed. Okay, this time the guy would deal just like this and it would look perfectly natural. It wouldn't look like anything was taking place. The rhythm never, never broke, no change in sound or direction. Every card coming from the top of the deck, or at least so it seems, and yet, Let's see how it looks at the end. Now, this guy over here, well, that's not much to go on. This guy here, there's a three, four, seven, nine, okay, no. No, not much worth talking about there. Over here, well, there's one of the aces. Well, you know, I, I didn't say that I would get all four aces. All I said was that I would get the winning hand. And I did get the winning hand. That's the reason I gave myself the 10. Jack, queen, king, and ace of spades. <laughs> now, it's always nice to see people that enjoy magic. Sometimes people get frustrated by it. I mean, they feel challenged by it. The most challenging situation that I ever faced, I was in a bar, and I, I'm showing a guy some magic tricks, right? Uh, pull out a card for me, if you would, and show it to everybody. Okay, I won't look. It's not that kind of a trick. And we'll put the card back into the center of the deck. You'll remember what the card is, won't you? Yep. Okay. Now, at this point, I'd just gotten to this point in the trick. And a guy says, no, wait, wait a minute. I want to shuffle the cards. You know, that's not that big a deal. I said, okay, you go ahead and shuffle the cards. And he said, but I don't want you to look. Turn around. I don't want you to look. Okay, so I turned around. Now, here's what the guy did, and this is what made it such a challenging situation. He didn't just shuffle the cards. What he did is he took half the cards face up and half the cards face down, and he shuffled face up into face down. Nice, smooth shuffle all the way so that you can see almost every card interlaced face up into face down. Now, that creates quite a mess, as you can imagine, okay? Give the cards a cut, just like this. 
Now he says, he turns around and says, now find my card. I didn't know anything that had happened up to this point. So I turned around and I said, well, okay. And I realized that the cards were face up and the face down, cards literally facing in every direction. It's the most challenging situation I'd ever been in. But here's exactly what I did. All I did is I squared the cards up like this and I cast a shadow over the deck. That's all I did. And when I fanned the cards out, every single card had righted itself, except for one <laughs> card, and one no card way. only, <laughs> right in the center of the There's deck. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs>